the iPhone X. The iPhone X was actually the first phone Apple did that have for me, I think, increased or boosted the fan base of Apple. Considering the new features like the swipe to unlock, face ID, and other in depth features here. Now, it's iPhone X worth buy in 2022. Stay tuned. Yes, yeah, so the iPhone X was actually released in 10 November 2017. So that's actually comparing to today, it's four and let's say a half years. Yeah, that's about four and a half years. Yeah, that gets very long. And one interesting and shocking thing is that it supports up to the latest iOS version, that's iOS 15.4. So the question is should you pre order an iPhone X in 2022? It's a yes and a no. So depending on the kind of phone or category of phone you use, maybe let's say an iPhone 6 or 7, upgrading to iPhone X, it's okay, very reasonable, it's very, very reasonable, depending on your budget. Because buying an iPhone X from Apple will actually cost you 600 to $700, yes, if I'm not mistaken, and from this third party um, supermarkets like Walmart, Amazon, Junior, it will be around $250 to $300, exactly. And this, this actually is isn't a new iPhone, it's refurbished or it's a slightly used iPhone X. So buying a new iPhone X in 2022, it's actually like you signing a contract with a devil to just cement you. But for me, for people using the 7 and 8 as compared to the iPhone 6 and 7, mm, 7 plus and 8 plus, yeah. Upgrading to iPhone X is just a step away and <clears throat> it's a no-no, it's, it's not advisable comparing the features and of the X and the latest features of let's say the 11 Pro to the 12 Pro Max, the 13 Pro Max. Sorry, I don't think upgrading from 8 Plus to X or 7 Plus to X is quite advisable. Why? Why as a long time? Considering the iPhone X chip, which is the A11 variant chip, its features, its battery mAh 27, F27, around 2000 mAh. All these things should be taken into consideration before upgrading to an iPhone X, maybe from an 8 Plus one to X. Yeah, I'm not saying that the iPhone X is actually a bad phone. The iPhone X is a good phone. Yeah, it's a good phone. But comparing, if you want a phone that will last long, better performance, better camera option, picture, video, in-depth features, then I think the iPhone X is actually a step behind because Apple just is something that was very very shocking they released one of their most massive features which is the swipe up look down to unlock yeah we were in a nose max to unlock your phone and it's quite unfortunate that it didn't come to the iphone x you should actually tell you that apple is actually removing iphone x from the system and not even an iphone x then iphone 11 also so if iphone 11 is not getting features like this then imagine the iphone x doesn't make sense for me, I use an iPhone X, yeah, I film as an I'm filming with an iPhone X and yeah, it's cool, it's cool, yeah, it's cool, but alongside using it, you encounter one or two faults like some freezes when you are trying to multitask, the phone becomes too hot, when you are trying to do plenty of things that they go and um, even unlocking your phone takes some time, the, comparing the speed of unlocking your phone to the speed of um, maybe like 11 Pro Max, 12, 13, so that is a very difference if you've studied the phone. If you studied, yeah, we've made a comparison because yeah, there's a very difference between the speed of unlocking phone on an iPhone X and that of the upper iPhones. So for me to conclude, buying an iPhone X in 2022 isn't that advisable. Depending on the phone you use, using 8, 7 Plus and going to X isn't that advisable. Maybe you can gather some or maybe do some wild budgets and maybe move to maybe 11 Pro Max or yeah, because 11 itself from what Apple did, um, ignoring their latest update on the 11 downwards, you could see that 11 itself is being cut off from the system, from Apple's ecosystem. So, yes, guys, that's all for today. If you love the video, and I think I saw the channel will be very, very miraculous. See you in the next video. I'm 4-4.